Hey guys, welcome to our short little video on how to extract data from a risk matrix table uh, very easily using the lookup. So the basic idea here, of course, is we have a series of consequences as well as likelihoods. And what we'd like to be able to do is to find the intersection of a consequence and the intersection of a likelihood and extract the corresponding um, level of risk from that. So um, yeah, let's get started, quite easy. So in cell D3, basically what we've got is in cell B3 is a likelihood, and in cell C3 we also have a consequence. And remember, we just want to simply find the intersection of those two in the table below. So starting off, we'll press equals, and then of course, VLOOKUP. So for your lookup value, the first thing you'll be doing is you'll be referencing or referencing cell B3, right? So that lookup value, comma, will be found within the table array, and I'm highlighting the table array down below, which in this case happens to be B12 through R99. Incidentally, you could also just simply reference B13 through I99. Then what we look to do is we'll press F4 to absolute reference that tab. And of course, we could use a named range here, but in this case, we're just referencing cells directly and absoluting them. Um, after the table array, we simply press comma. Now for the column index number, we now need to now find the appropriate consequence. So now a consequence of, for being aware, of course, that VLOOKUP uses column numbers here. Um, a consequence of four is actually, in this particular instance, occurs in column number five of that selection that we've just done for the table array. So what we'll do here is we'll simply reference the consequence in cell C3, bearing in mind that the reference is in column five for a uh, consequence of four. So then we just simply go plus one, comma, and for the range lookup, we wanna find an exact match for the likelihood on the left. So we could go false um, for an exact match, but we could also simply just specify a zero. Closing our arguments for the VLOOKUP function, pressing control enter, there is our risk level. If we were to copy this down the list, you'll notice we've been able to determine the consequences, sorry, beg your pardon, the risk levels for the remaining likelihoods and consequences. And of course, the great thing is if the likelihood was to change and the consequence was to be more severe or to be changed, you'll notice that accordingly changes the risk level. So guys, hopefully that made sense. Uh, got a little bit out of the video. Uh, just the very simple basic stuff there of VLOOKUP. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys in the future and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for now.